Hey there everyone, are you struggling with the IMEI blacklist? On this video, I'm gonna show you how you can remove it using only an online tool. This is a simple process, nothing really crazy. So I'm gonna show it on this video, so please pay attention. But before we do the process, I wanna show you that this process works by using this device over here. I got this Samsung device, it's an A50. I got a SIM card over here. It's from the carrier, so you'll see that it's not gonna work. So if I try to use it over here, it's gonna say that, well, it's either gonna say no network connection or emergency calls only. So as you can see, yeah, emergency calls only, it's not gonna work, uh, but yeah, this is not enough proof. So we're gonna go into a tool that I fully recommend and we're gonna enter the IMEI of the device and show it to you that the device is locked. So we need the IMEI, so go into your dial, press this and after that press the pound button and now we have to enter that I, IMEI into the tool. All right, I got the IMEI, I'm gonna hit check. Uh, I'm gonna complete the I not a robot, press over here. And as you can see, my device is blacklisted over here, the A15. So as you can see, same device. So all we have to do is to use this tool, safeonlocks.com. We need to go over to services, go to IMEI blacklist removal, and we need to enter some basic information. First, we need a name, then we need to enter an email that is valid because we're gonna receive all the information you'll see in just a minute. So Samsung device, I have an IMEI, yeah, I do. And over here, I have to enter the same IMEI number. So I'm gonna do that and I'll see you in just one sec. All right, I just enter and verify the IMEI number. I'm gonna hit the terms and condition and press on the proceed button. So over here, we're gonna land on the order ID and we're gonna scroll down a little bit and you'll see that there is a tutorial over here. This is really important. Uh, please make sure to watch this to understand how to do this process and I'll see you again in just one second. Okay guys, you might be wondering what to do now after completing the process that is explained on this video down below over here. So, all we have to do is to go into our inbox and wait for the activation ID. Luckily for me, it is already here, so I can see right now. Your order ID was verified and is ready to be used to activate your order. Please remember that this will only work with the details you have provided. So we're gonna take this ID over here, we're gonna go into or order, we're gonna paste it, and if everything is correct, we're gonna see the start order button. So all we have to do is to press it, and it's gonna say your order is now in progress. This is great, and you might be wondering what to do next. It's the same thing as before, and we have to wait for a second email confirming that everything is correct, and that's all we have to do. Afterwards, I'm gonna show you how to test it. Okay guys, it only took like a few minutes. It was really quick. Device removed from the blacklist. Hey there Nick, we have great news for you. Your application was accepted and now your IMEI is clean. Feel free to test it. In case there are any inconveniences, please let us know and a team member will reach out to you. This is great news. So the first thing that I wanna do and it's really important is to go. We're already checking here that it says that the device is blacklisted. So what we're gonna do right now is to see if it if it is clean indeed. So we're gonna go and do that. Okay, we're here on the page and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna obtain the IMEA once again. So you, you can make sure that everything is right. So we're gonna enter that same IMEA once again and we're gonna test it. So it's only gonna take a few seconds. So I'm gonna hit here and check. I'm gonna complete the I not a robot and I'm gonna check if, if this is correct. So we're gonna wait, blacklist status, clean. So you can see over here, let's see if this message is gone. Yep, we got the A50, we got it right here and now it's clean. But most importantly is to see if it works. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this same SIM card that we just tried before, and we're gonna test if it's picking some signal once again. So we're gonna wait for that and show you. Okay, as you can see, I have signal, I have 4G without any issue, 
It was really simple guys. If you want to do it, go to safeunlocks.com. I'll see you again on the next video and I hope I was able to help you.